Okay, the other thing that I wanted to uh, at least start uh, talking about uh, and saying a few words about is the, uh, the beat. The first question is why have I usually referred to this and said, well, you know, it should have been covered in T515, but wasn't, because uh, there wasn't enough time there. Why, why did I say that? Any ideas? Okay, the general subject of the beat is when there are payments from a U.S. person to a foreign related party. So let's say that these are brother sister companies and there are payments being made by the U.S. company to its related foreign company. What does base erosion mean? Well, any payment that reduces the amount of taxable income, okay? Interest and royalties are the easiest thing, uh, the easiest things to structure. Uh, certainly through this project, you're seeing a lot of royalties. And there's a lot of base erosion. That's uh, the expression which, uh, which has been used. If we have a U.S. parent on top, in the things that you've been looking at in the various companies that you're working on, have there been many payments going from a U.S. company to the foreign related companies? Yeah, there's been very little. In fact, it's gone the other way. For example, in uh, uh, in both Google and Facebook, there's obviously a bunch of people in Mountain View or uh, Menlo Park who are running these internet platforms. Well, the foreign companies should be paying some service fee or some amount to bear the cost of that. So that's an inbound payment. That's more taxable income for the U.S. parent. It's not an outflow from the U.S. to a foreign related person. So who would do that? I don't know whether you've heard of this company. Maybe some of you might have because they were in the news a year or two ago. Valiant uh, Pharmaceuticals. Uh, they were in the news primarily for price gouging. That's another issue. But what this, what Valiant is, was originally a, a U.S. company. It went through a, and it went through an inversion transaction to become a Canadian company in uh, I think 2010, give or take. And then uh, it went through a number of acquisitions, uh, one of which was Bosch and Loan, which maybe some of you have heard of, eyeglasses and such. Uh, also another big one I think was Salix, uh, uh, which is uh, again a pharmaceutical company, not one that I was familiar with, but uh, uh, that was a relatively sizable transaction. So we have a Canadian company that owns uh, some number of U.S. Uh, subsidiaries. And the question is, well, gee, uh, how did it finance, how did it finance, let's say, the acquisition of NUCO in the United States? Well, one of the things it did was to set up a Luxembourg structure where the parent, let's say banks over here and other lenders, loaned to here, the uh, Valiant uh, in uh, Canada, they then sent money down here as a, an interest-free loan, which is something that is apparently uh, fine, in, uh, at least in Canada at this time. And then there were big loans made to the U.S. company uh, with a, a nice uh, high rate of interest. 
you might look at this and say, well, gee, uh, Luxembourg technically has a 29% tax rate. That leaves a lot of taxable income in Luxembourg because there's interest income in, and it's an interest-free loan, so there's, there's no expense. What they did was they got a special ruling from Luxembourg that said, OK, you can deem an interest deduction, and we'll just impose a little tax on some amount of uh, net income. This was laid out uh, very proudly by the then, I think, treasurer, uh, director of, uh, of Valiant, uh, before a, a, the Senate, uh, uh, before a Senate committee, and there it's included in uh, uh, in some uh, uh, you know Senate staff reports. This kind of blatant, in a sense, shifting of profits, pulling. Uh, large interest amounts out, and then uh, not being taxed on that interest income really anywhere is something which is base erosion. So what Congress was worried about was foreign companies doing this, not U.S. companies, not U.S. headquartered companies. Uh, now, uh, maybe next time I'll, I'll get into a little bit more of this because we're, uh, we're now past, uh, past time. But again, the focus behind this was foreign-owned U.S. companies having their profits pulled out through deductible payments. That's why we have a beat. And we'll talk about uh, more details later.